Welcome, welcome to the Travis Talk Sports Show. It is Good Friday. Thanks for listening, everybody. Welcome in. I'm here with the coach, yes. Ron Tunick. Happy Easter. Happy Good Friday. It's a wonderful time of year, and what a beautiful day here in Santa Cruz. It Cruda. is. Excellent day. Yeah. Beautiful day. Welcome home. I missed you, dog. I really did miss you, man. And when I found out what you did and who you <laughs> did it with in New Orleans. How, how do they say it? New Orleans? Nolens. Nolens. Yeah. So red beans and rice. Oh, my goodness. Gumbo. How good was the gumbo? Be honest. It was great. I had it multiple places, multiple times. Oh, and you don't bring any home for Aaron and I? It wouldn't last. But look, I mean, the food was incredible in New Orleans. <clears throat> We're talking po' boys. Po' boys. Jambalaya, oh, jambalaya. Oh, my goodness. So you live in the Marina del Rey, Aaron. you have anything? I do. We have nothing out here. I, where would you go? Travis, to, to get a bowl of jambalaya. I have no idea. But that's I think the one... you could go to Killer Shrimp out there in Marina oh, yeah. Del Rey. Tony P's, right by the marina. Tony P's? Tony P's. How come we don't have a Tony P's in Santa Clarita? We have nothing out here. <laughs> we got some stuff. Well, we, we had a, a great cheese. lunch at the refinery. I got to tell you that, Doug. Oh, Travis I love and I, yeah, great. We had a great hamburger. It's fun. But we don't have they a have good New beers. Orleans. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, Travis and I don't drink. You don't drink? Nope. Oh, wow. But where uh, we don't have a New Orleans style no. restaurant anywhere. That's the thing that I recognize right off the bat. There's no, there's hardly any chain restaurants there. I mean, you get out, out a little ways from the city and you'll see some chain restaurants, but there was just incredible food. I had a number of beignets. Oh, my goodness. It was... did, you, did you go to jazz stuff at night? Any yes. Of you did? Found a nice little jazz spot with. Uh, some drinks and some cigars. Oh, so when you're hanging with the coach of the Pelicans, Penworthy, uh, Penberthy, Penberthy, whatever <laughs> oh, his name goodness. is, Travis, Penberthy. Do people recognize him when you're? Oh out? yeah. Oh, they do. Yeah, they recognize him. Oh, well. He's uh, well known there. <clears throat> He's a great guy. But I was there for about eight days. A little bit of uh, a lot of play and a little bit of work. I had a conference there for my real job. Such a spoiled brat. You're listening <laughs> to Travis Talk Sports, award-winning 98.1 KHTS. We're going to get into sports. Big, big shout out and congratulations to Santa Clarita Christian. They win their Division Five, first time in history. The state, right? State title. State championship. State yeah. champions. Yeah. Santa Clarita Christian. That is big. So congratulations. A lot of stuff going on in local sports right now. When you look at, uh, we can talk Dodgers today. Oh, yes, we are. Uh, an issue already. You have you have daughters. I have one daughter. So softball, Aaron, is huge in Santa Clarita. Huge, Big huge, time. yeah. And uh, the Cougars, you know who the Cougars are? Yeah, the Lady Cougars over mm -hmm. at COC. Uh, They've got a big eight-game win streak right now, and uh, I think they're playing Citrus College today. So a big shout-out to the Cougars, the Lady Cougars out at College of the Canyons. All right, where do you want to start, Travis? Well, let's start with Dodgers. Oh. Opening day yesterday. Terrible. Then we're going to get into some NCAA tourney talk. You know who's in the Final Four, don't you? Can we say it? Let's wait. Uh, and then I've got a, so much questions to ask you, but I am still – I didn't think – I thought I'd get over it by now, but I'm still a bitter – Dodger fan from the World Series is still lingering for me. Are, you're not as big a Dodger fan as I am, are you? I, probably not. I mean, I love the Dodgers. I follow the Dodgers. I root for the Dodgers. I can't ever watch any Dodger games. That really ticks me off. Were you mm -hmm. See, I don't get that. You, you're like a number of friends of mine. They, they're just so stubborn. They won't get this. I, I, ca I caved in several years ago, and I, I watch it uh, every evening in the backyard. Okay, line up. Are you okay with the Dodger lineup, what they're doing? Well, they got some injured players. They got Turner, who's injured at third, so their real lineup isn't there um, yet. But, you know, it was game one. What, what aggravates me the most about the Dodgers, and if you look at past Kershaw starts, how many times does he just pitch awesome and the Dodgers can't produce any runs? Almost That's, every time. That is what ticks me off about the Dodgers. Do they get any hitting in the offseason? They did well during spring training. He didn't give up a run. He didn't give up one run. Well, we know Kershaw's not, Kershaw's not going to do that, but how can we lose one to nothing all the time? we got to get some hitting in here. No kidding. They got six hits yesterday, two of them by the pitcher, Clayton, right. and two of them by the catcher, who I don't care for. 
And uh, I, I, I don't know. I would – Forsythe's a nice man. I'm not saying anything. But he's a he, – to me, he's a, a double – he's a, a ground ball double play guy. Right, Aaron? Am I lying about this? I don't pay attention to the Dodgers like you do. And shut off your mic. <laughs> shut your mic off. <laughs> I'm You're a good. Lakers man. Even though it's a uh, basketball season, they're out of the playoff race. Quick I'm jump a- to the Lakers. They look the I, uh, whether it's their coach Luke Walden or whatever. The last month they played hard. They were in every ball game. Uh, they just won the other night. Uh, they beat uh, who did they beat? They beat, they beat the beat Mavericks, one hundred three to ninety three. <laughs> Mavericks, okay. <laughs> well, when I was in New Orleans, Coach, I went to four Pelican games, and the lineup was the Mavericks, the Pacers, the Lakers, and the Trailblazers. Spoiled. Bro. Now, yes, I did get spoiled. The Lakers absolutely blew that. They were up by 15 at one point over the Pelicans, and that was the game that Lonzo was 1 for 12 from three-point land, and he just kept shooting. What does he cru- look you were, I mean, you're sitting in the fifth row. You could hear them. What does Lonzo look like in he, person? Well, He's a he's gonna be great. He's gonna be a great player. You you go match up Jason Kidd's rookie season numbers. Lonzo Ball is right there or better in every category. So he's gonna be good. He needs to learn how to shoot. Jason Kidd didn't know how to shoot. He needs a coach, and I can give him a coach for shooting in the NBA. Um, but he almost had a triple double that night that they the Lakers lost. But he couldn't make any shot and he was taking threes at crucial points of the game where he needed a bucket you know I'm, I'm sitting there in the stands in the fifth row saying go to the basket you can't shoot from outside go to the basket get a foul or something i'm sure you can hear so you're a laker fan too Aaron? oh die hard that's i think the lakers are really the only team that i passionately care about like i'm invested in the dodgers but you know i'm not going to shed any tears if they Losing the second round again. They've been breaking my heart since 1994. No, no kidding. Well, a big shout mean, out to the boys at Leon. Leon's, the boys at Leon's are listening. Let's give them a big shout out. Pat's listening for sure. Yeah, shout out to the smoke zone. To what the up? smoke zone. Okay, you're you're in the fifth row. What what are they saying? I know there there's a lot of cussing going on, but are they anybody talking about In and Out Burger or the, <laughs> They or don't the, have it in Louisiana. No, they, they don't. No. What, so what? What anybody? What are they talking about? Come on, let it. They're just talking back smack to each other, each each player. You know, anything you've ever heard on the street uh, playing ball. Do they get in each other's face? Yeah, they get in their face a little while. The, there, I, I noticed the biggest whiners. Uh, you know, that's one thing. Somebody who's always complaining to the refs, Damian Lillard, uh, all night long, whined and complained to the refs. I was like, this guy. That's why I. I, I you can when you get up close and personally you can see it. who who do I like did Isaiah like did Isaiah play yeah he played how, now just, he's how, he's how tall now. is he five seven five eight <laughs> really I mean he looked that sh- he is that short I yeah. guess yeah so he's he's out with his hip yeah which tells me his career's over with no he his first surgery they didn't do it right he can come back he won't be that. he's not coming back to the Lakers no they said four months yeah he's not coming back to the Lakers unless he's gonna take. Yeah, if I, uh, I would take I would take Isaiah if he's taking a year deal for like eleven mil. He ain't getting KCP money. KCP was a one year deal for twenty mil, but KCP's represented by LeBron's people. You you throw twenty million around like it's uh, the money that these guys make is just bizarre. I had twenty million dollars. Come on, you you know how many buildings you can buy for twenty million dollars? I, I I don't know. To me, the the entertainment value. Isn't there the? I, I'm. So, I don't want to get off on a tangent. It's ridiculous. What do you mean the entertainment value is not there? How many LeBron James are there in the NBA? One. How many? How many players? When LeBron comes, he fills up the arena. How many guys in the? Be honest with me, Travis. How many guys in the NBA would you truly go and watch? Well, they fill the arena for Anthony Davis. That's for sure. Okay, I'll give you that. He's pretty darn good. Who else? I think Lonzo Ball. Fills no. an arena. What? I think people are curious to see what Lonzo looks like in person, how he plays. Yeah, I, I think look, Brody's making eyes in the studio because he knows you guys are really off the cuckoo. Hey, you know <laughs> what? The reason why there's these crazy salaries is because of the TV contracts. Yeah, and also because the NBA um, says you have to, you can't be under the salary cap cap, or you'll be fine. Everyone has to to pay, and there's revenue sharing and all that stuff. So it's only those salaries are coming because a lot of it's mandated by the league. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have a little contest here. And if you want to call in 298-5487, 298-5487, uh, we're going to have a contest. So in uh, this is a leftover from last week, but since you literally claim you have no knowledge, these are the most dominant athletes over the last 20 years. Who's number one on the list? And you said before the show they you pick seven out of twenty. No, okay, but you said these athletes. Um, it's not about. It's only statistics. strictly about statistics. Yeah. The first guy that comes to mind for me, in regards to statistics, would be Floyd Mayweather Jr. Is he on the list? Yes, he's he is. undefeated. He's on the list. He is so number. It's about stats, he's got to be there. He's number eight on the list. Very good. Number okay. Eight, he's undefeated. He's, I mean, if it's about stats, he's never lost. Money right? Mayweather. All right. He's on the list. Who's number one on the list? I don't know. Tiger Woods. Mm. Well, you would have picked Tiger. Statistics. I mean, statistics. If it's about statistics, that just says, it, that just says it's 20. not about statistics because Floyd Mayweather is undefeated for twenty years, never lost a fight. If it's all about statistics, Travis, he's number him. one. Calm down. You picked him. He's number one. You picked him. He's Tiger not... Woods is number one. Who's well, number let, two? Let me let me guess here. Yeah, Michael Jordan has to be on the list. 20 years. Last 20 years. Has he been retired for 20 years? Yeah. He's he won not, his last title in 98. Correct. Mm-hmm. He's not on the list. <clears throat> okay. Kobe Bryant. Shaquille O'Neal. Now, we need some sound here. So, every time he gets it wrong... Because uh, I said he'd only get seven. No. Thank you. Thank you. He's not on the list. Shaq's not on the list? Nope. Last 20 That's years. That's two. That's two. Last 20 wrong. years. Yeah, last 20 years. Uh, this is Tom right. Tom Brady? Yeah, Tom Brady's on the list. He's number... Hallelujah. He, yeah, hallelujah. He's number 20 on the list. So Tiger's one, Tom Brady's 20. Good luck with the rest. So now we got to go to Ronaldo. We got to go soccer. We got to go. Okay, let's go soccer. Ronaldo. Nope. Uh, What's the other guy's name? I forget his name. I'm not. I don't know all these soccer guys. His biggest rival. Messi. Messi. He's got to be on there. Yes, number eleven. Lionel Messi's number eleven. And according to Aaron, Aaron knew this. Excellent. Aaron was the only one in Santa Cruz that knew it last week. Marta, you know who Marta is? Brazilian soccer player. What about uh, Kershaw? Nope. Shame. Another hmm. miss. Shame. Yeah, shame on you. Another miss. Shame. Um, then we got to go tennis. Oh, well, let's go tennis. Nadal. Federer. Federer is on the list. Nadal is not. Another boo boo. <laughs> All right, but how many have I gotten so far? You said I couldn't get seven. Well, you've only, so far you've only gotten two. No. What? You got three. You got Brady, you got uh, Federer, and you got uh, Money Mayweather. Three. I got to get four more. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's think about some other sports Let's here. think about some other sports. You're listening to Travis Talk Sports on Award Winning. anyone wants to give me a hint, 98.1. Give yeah. me a hint. Got some waiting music. Right? What uh, other we have sp- waiting what, music. what other sports are on that list? So I can start thinking about sports. Auto Who's racing. In hockey? A- auto racing. Oh, auto racing. Jimmy Johnson. Yeah, all right. He's on the list. Uh, yeah. Jeff Gordon. Nope. Mm. Uh, let's go baseball. It's baseball season. Who's on well, the list? Let's see. Has Barry Bonds been out of the league for twenty years? You got to guess. We're not going to give Barry it to Bonds. you. Barry Bonds. Yeah, he's on the list. He's number seventeen. All right. So how many is that? That's five. Five. Uh, baseball. Who's You're just been, about done. You're just about worn who, yourself who's out. Who's been the dominant player? Most in dominant athletes over the last twenty years. I don't agree with the list. Incidentally, is Serena Williams on that list? Uh, Ooh, yeah, Serena Williams remember. is on. That's not fair. Okay. But she's on the she list. Should be, yeah. He would have never guessed it. Travis would have never guessed it. I know. Look at him. So it has to be Jordan Spieth on that list. Absolutely wrong. Nope. Uh, he's kill- <laughs> killed it over his short he's period. He's not of time. on the list. I don't agree with the list. This list was made up of people behind the scenes at ESPN. This is ESPN's uh, magazine editors. Which we're not. Is my guy of. Tom Brady on that list? Yeah, I already said number Tom twenty. Brady. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. Let's think of. I can't believe he's number Peyton twenty. Peyton Manning. 
Peyton Manning, nice job. No, he's not on the what? list. What? Yeah, what? Who are these guys picking these? Remember, I said there's no soft tissue. There's there's nobody that has no subjective players. Nobody with uh, off field leadership, on field leadership. Give me a bunch of guys you don't even know. Give me the guy. How about how about if it's straight statistics and winning championships? Uh, Robert Ory has to be on that list, absolutely, but he's not. Absolutely not. He's not on the list. Uh, Big James, Big Game James, James Worthy. No, he's not on the list. Twenty uh, years. He's 20 not years. on the list. You're not going to guess the people. Annika Sorensen is number six. Well, how long has she been? She's been out. That, 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 about that, eight, that, eight. that is blasphemous. That's that bla- is blasphemous. That is. She shouldn't be on that list at all. How about Michael? You know who Michael Schumacher is? Yeah, re, uh, IndyCar or yeah. Formula One. Yeah. At one point, he made more over $100 million a year. $100 million. Wow. Mm-hmm. Hey, I got two more to get. Give me some hints. Hmm. I don't know. Uh, all right, I'll give you hints. Uh, baseball. We're still on baseball. 20 years. I don't know. Anything. Track. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, how Is about it? Allison Felix? Yep, she's on the hey. list. Bam. Number 16. Bam. Number 16. Uh, on the list. Let's see here. This is waiting music, ladies and gentlemen. You're baseball. Listening to ninety-eight point one FM on award-winning. Baseball. You can also listen on hometownstation.com. Mark McGuire. No. He's been out of the league no. for twenty years. Give no. him the sport. Is it baseball? Yeah, I said baseball. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, Aaron, how's your life? Everything okay? While he's trying to guess one more. <laughs> How's Charlie, your dog? <laughs> my dog is excellent. My, now, my do you, dog is what gaining do you weight. feed your dog? Do you feed? Do you, uh, we feed our uh, my little Lexi Lulu uh, Blue Mountain. Oh, oh, you know what? We feed our dog Blue Mountain. Oh, well, look! You're looking at the list. That's Let me not, see. Uh, Usain not, Bolt. Yeah, well, come on. That's yeah. Not, he looks at. Oh God, Brody looked at my list. All right, let me finish it off. I don't know who this is. Lauren Jackson. Yep. Aaron, who's that? Uh, it's a women uh, basketball player. She yep. plays for Seattle, I believe. Did you know her, Travis? Yeah, I know her. Mm-hmm. Uh, Serena Williams, we said. Lionel Messi, we said. Allison Felix, that was a good one. Mike Trout. Oh, wow, yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. Can you imagine the only two baseball players on this list, according to ESPN's magazine, is Mike Trout and Barry Bonds? Are you kidding me? That's crazy. It is crazy. How could Kershaw not have been there? He's dominated the league ever For 11 since years. Been. Absolutely. Hello? Yeah, hello is right. Uh, you missed this one when you were unboxing Manny Pacquiao. Oh, yeah. You missed that one. What else did you not get? That's about it. Uh, yeah, give me some more NBA guys. There is none. Wow. Just one. Wow. Just one. And this what? list was done by CNN? No. Brody, is he listening to me? He we got to go to break. ESPN, dominant ESPN, most dominant athletes in the last 20 years. ESPN. I said Peyton Manning, and you said no. Where is Peyton Manning on that list? Right, we have to go to break. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to break. We're LeBron going to break. We'll James. come right back. We'll come right back. Jeez. Let it drop right here. Yeah. Health care can be difficult if you're underinsured or have Medi-Cal. Samuel Dixon Family Health Center can help. Services are available on a sliding fee schedule. The mission of the Samuel Dixon Family Health Center is to give the Santa Clarita Valley access to affordable, quality primary care. There are three locations to serve you, Canyon Country, Newhall, and Valverde. Go to sdfhc.org for more information and to find the location most convenient for you. Genghis Khan Mongolian Barbecue and Chinese Buffet. Healthy vegetables and lean meats. A low-carb treat. Create your own bowls with our delicious meats and always fresh vegetables. Then, blend in your own secret sauce. Feast at the all-you-can-eat buffet and barbecue for the same low price. A local favorite for over 25 years, Genghis Khan is still located on Lyons Avenue just east of the I-5. Enter between the Chevron and Shell gas stations. Come and see us soon at Genghis Khan. This is Bernard Cash with Earthwise Nutrition Center. We have been serving Santa Clarita Valley from the same location in Granity Square Shopping Center for the last 30 years. We built our business on earning people's trust. What you get at our store, you will not get anywhere else. You're going to get a family that's going to tell you the truth, that's more interested in earning your business long term versus making a big sale. You're going to get 30 years of knowledge and you're going to get a wide variety of products that actually work. 
You can visit us at buyearthwise.com or call us at 661-255-2928. Title Boxing Club is here in Santa Clarita. We're fast-paced, action-packed, and addictive. We've got music pumping and energy flowing. Come out to the Title Boxing Club and embrace your inner power and sweat it out at Santa Clarita's best workout spot for you and your entire family. Join us for your first shot free class at the Title Boxing Club on Bouquet Canyon and Newhall Ranch Road. Hi, my name is Garo, and I've opened up three Apollo's Barbershops in Valencia, with the fourth one opening up on Main Street in downtown Newhall. I remember my grandfather bringing me to the barbershop when I was a boy, when trucks were made tough and integrity meant something. Apollo's Barbershop is not a fad, but is built on old-school tradition, a place where a man can get a straight razor shave, a tight, clean haircut, beard, and mustache grooming. Visit us at apollosbarbershop.com for all the information and contacts. Hi, this is Jason Perez with New American Funding, Santa Cruz's own homegrown mortgage expert. Visit my website at lendscb.com or give me a call at 661-972-1092. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or trying to go from your condo to a castle, here at New American Funding, my team and I are here to help you do whatever you need. Once again, feel free to give me a call, 661-972-1092, or visit my website at lendscb.com. I'm looking forward to working with you. At Jersey Mike's, we make a sub above. Bread baked fresh, veggies served crisp, meat and cheese sliced on the spot. Then comes the juice. Red wine vinegar and olive oil blended to perfection is what makes a Jersey Mike sub a sub to behold. And beholding? Well, we think that works best with two hands. Jersey Mike's, be a sub above. Your Santa Clarita Jersey Mike's, a proud sponsor of Santa Clarita Sports. 98.1 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Yeah. 1,000. Biz busy on the bus. Mm-hmm. Welcome back to the Travis Talk Sports Show. I'm here with Coach Ron Tunick. We're talking about local sports. We're talking about crazy top 20 players in the last 20 years. I love Something. Travis's music. Can you play that? I love it. Something on the bus. What What are we doing on the bus? Something on the bus. Great. Let's listen to it a little bit. Let's bring Santa Creta up to a little hip-hop. Come on. A lot better than hearing Coach talk. No, I, I like it. All right, now make your correction because I said Peyton Manning. You I'm said he sorry. wasn't on the list. I apologize. I apologize. Hey, can we talk March Madness coming up this weekend? Hello? Yes, we can. Who's in the Final Four, Coach? Villanova. Ah. Uh, Chicago Loyola. And? Uh, Michigan. And? And Duke. (laughs) Negative. (laughs) The Kansas Jayhawks. I know. I was teasing. Are in there. My Uh, team of all teams. I'm second place in my pool. I got three of the four. Me too. We we both had Virginia. I had Virginia, Kansas in the final. Think about it. Anybody that didn't have Virginia didn't didn't know anything about basketball. So if if you're in your pool and you're in the final, did you you get any pools? I did. I did. I did very poorly. Because you took all the teams I took. Yeah, I took Michigan State. I, I, I actually went on the record on this show, and I said Michigan State's going to win it. Yeah. I had Michigan State. I had, Mich- I had Arizona. I had uh, Virginia winning it all. You know, not- Virginia, they, they, they lost that stunner, right? Their coach was just named AP Coach of the Year. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was uh, – Wouldn't this be something if Loyola – it's not the first time that a Cinderella team has won, I think, twice in the history – uh, March Madness. Who was uh, that? I'm trying to think. Uh, this goes back years ago. I'm trying to think. Uh, uh, we we have a staff. We've got a, a big staff that can find out. What was the question? What uh, college Cinderella team won the whole uh, the whole March Madness? They didn't win, but Butler got pretty close. A few I, years I back. remember that year. Butler. That was a great game. Yeah, Warren Hayward and almost made that uh, last second the, shot. The Rattlers. It's the is it, who's is the Rattlers from Loyola? What's their nickname? Uh, Ram Ramblers. The, the Rieflers. Yeah. 
The Rattler. So this team, um, they probably weren't a Cinderella team then, but they won in 1963 or something like yes. that, way yeah. back when. They did. This Loyola Chicago. But it should be a good matchup. I think uh, the Michigan defense is just going to get on them big time. <laughs> and then um, I think whoever wins um, the game between Villanova and Kansas will be the national champion. That is going to be a tough game. Um, but since my Jayhawks did um, stand strong and didn't falter versus the big Dukies, um, I think they have a good shot to uh, win. And, and all along this season, I, I follow these guys faithfully. I thought, mm, this just isn't the team. You know, they, ha- they aren't dominant like they used to be, and they've lost a lot of games at home this year that they didn't. But they've just kept going, kept getting better. Okay, we've got, I don't know, maybe 10 or 20 producers in the studio. Here is the local... Not the local, but this is the Valley uh, sports page, which I like. Aaron, see if there's one article on March Madness. I, 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 I can't find it. That is just amazing that there wouldn't be something in print about March Madness. But I'm for Kansas, too, even though I know you're a Kansas uh, Jayhawk. Uh, I'd love to see Kansas win. Kansas and Michigan s- seem to me, Michigan plays Loyola. Yes. Mm-hmm. And then Kansas plays Villanova. Uh, Michigan and Kansas both have uh, uh, what I call dogs in the race. They've got they've got guys who can really ball. And, and well, so does uh, Villanova. That Brunson, he won the AP Player of the Year, and mm-hmm. he's a senior. And these teams that have some seniors, some leadership on on the team, um, they're going to go. They're 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 here at the end. So are we charging this caller? Are we are we going to charge the caller to talk? I don't know. Yeah, I have, who is it, caller? This is uh, Patty Larue. Oh, Patty Larue. Patty Larue. Who's that? Yeah, Patty Larue. Oh, Patty. Patty. Yeah. You know, Patty. Hey, listen. I have a golf question, and I wondered. We were arguing about whether Tiger Woods was ever going to win another major, and I just want to find out what your feelings were on that. I think uh, he will. I think he has a really good. Vegas likes him, a uh, number one seed to win the Masters. I, I watched him the last couple of weeks. I think he's got uh, his game back. He's hitting the ball as long, not as long as he used to, but he's hit, still hitting it over 300 yards. And if he can get his uh, putter to work, uh, yeah, I like his chances. Well, Pat, that's a great question. I'm glad you called it that question because I guarantee he will win another major before he turns 50. And I'll take any bet out there from any. <laughs> Buddy out there who wants to uh, Sounds wager like Patty on Patty LaRue doesn't think it's going to happen. Oh, Pat, Pat knows one of There's a couple Patty's other guys. He, no, Pat, no, I'm, I'm hoping that he does. I, I'm just hoping that his back holds up long enough to be able to do that. I know even though he had surgery and he's swinging amazing speed and hitting the ball, I just, um, I'm just i hoping that his back holds up. Yeah, I think uh, I'm right on with that. Here, but, Patty but, LaRue, here's some breaking news. Raiders just cut. One of the best kickers in the in the uh, NFL, Marquette King. That's breaking he's, he's news. He's the punter. Who cares? And now back to uh, Tiger Woods. Now, uh, I think uh, he will probably win a major. If not this year, next year, I'm predicting he will win that major. And then I will be collecting some very nice winnings. So thank you for your call, Pat. You're welcome, and keep up the good work, guys. Thank you. That's uh, our pal, Patty LaRue. Um Okay, you don't care about the NFL? It's, I don't care about that. You're not really a football fan. I'm not a Raider you? fan, but I do mm. like their quarterback, and I do like their coach. But just but, you know, they're big rivals to my Chiefs, you know. So Gruden, uh, let me talk to Aaron, and you can go do what you want to do. Uh, so, the, so Gruden's now the new head coach. He's a no-nonsense, no-BS guy. He wants everybody to toe the line. And um, Marquette's kind of a player. I mean, he's kind of yeah. a... He wants he's, to showboat after every punt. He's a big personality for yeah. a punter. It's like, calm down, dude. You're the punter. Right. You know, I don't care if you're making six Pro Bowls. You're still the punter. Exactly. You can't be the biggest personality on the team. Bingo. And I, that just didn't work well with Gruden. He's a great punter, though. He is. I mean, he'll be picked up instantly, hopefully, by the Do you Can you believe, Aaron, that the Rams are going to be in the Super Bowl this year? I don't know about that because the Eagles picked up uh, Bennett from the Seahawks. And what they happened to for- Bennett? Well, he just got arrested, didn't yeah. he? Or ben, he got charged ben, or whatever. Ben has got issues. He turned ben, himself in. But look at our defense. With, with, with our. Sue. No, no, no. Yours. Oh. I'm, I'm a Raider fan. Oh, I can't right. wait till they go to Vegas. Uh, me, I'll be a Raider fan when they go to Vegas. All right, back to Travis. Hold on a second. 
Uh, about the Raiders, I was re hearing this report about, you know, Gruden isn't the big analytical type, and they were saying, is that going to have, is there going to be any problems because he's not about that, about numbers and stuff like that. And he's more old school, you know. It's just about what you do out there on the field, who's the best player, things like that. Do you think that's going to come into play for the Raiders? I think I think he – let me say this. I love Gruden as an announcer, and I actually love him as a coach. But this is a different era. I mean, these kids coming up, uh, they're your age, Aaron. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I, I think we're just going to have to wait and see. Gruden is a disciplinarian, okay? So I don't think you take a young man like uh, Aaron and beat him up uh, and be on top of him all the time and smother him like probably Gruden's going to do. <laughs> And let's see if it works. I, I don't think uh, this is an era where that kind of uh, hard coaching does work. Well, I, I I tend to like Gruden's approach because think about it. You might have a guy who can run a four four or bench press X Y and Z just because he's athletically gifted, and it may not translate on the field that he has heart. You know, that's and that's point. what Gruden's looking at. Who has heart? It's Who's going to do point. what they need to do to win? And so I kind of like it. No, it, it, it's a very, very good point, I, and that's what he's looking for. He's looking for somebody that's going to show up early for practice, stay after, and as I say in my wristband, give 100% a little bit more. You're listening to Travis Talk Sports on award-winning 98.1 and 1220 AM. Award-winning KHTS. We're so honored that you would even take your time on a Friday, good Friday, uh, to listen to our show. Aaron, our wonderful producer, uh, Brody's in the studio with his staff and, of course, my partner, Travis. Okay, now back to the NCAA tournament here. Do you uh, have a have a pick here? Uh, Cam on, on Kansas. Pick Kansas to win, but who's going to win the Loyola Chicago? Michigan. I think, I think a legacy uh, program like Michigan will step up. I think Cinderella's going to lose her shoe at midnight, and it'll be over. And the uh, and the sister, the ninety four year old sister. Yeah, that's what sister I Sister Jean. Sister, sister Jean, Jean. What do you think about sister? I thought it was hilarious that she had them winning, but in one pool and then <laughs> losing in the Sweet Sixteen or something like that. Mm -hmm. That was funny. Michigan I, right, or Loyal is a five point dog. That's not yeah. bad. It's not bad. No, it's not bad at all. No. Uh, can can we change subjects? I, I've always been fascinated with the name of horses. So I'm going to ask both of you. Uh, let me let me warm you up a little bit. So here's a couple of names. Has to be caught. Thread off the bench. I just love benefit from blow. Uh, seen on the mm. side. These are names of horses. <laughs> These are the name of horses. What, what kind Seen of name can we give Coach a horse name? Well, time coach. out. This is my question of you two, all right? <laughs> Here's some more names while I warm you guys up. Uh, chased, to, chased to the top, exit at the grade, can handle a trip. These are names of horses. What would be the name of your horse? I don't know. I, like, I think about this stuff. What do you think? I don't know. Trying to wake you up, Travis. You're back from your trip. You're not in New Orleans anymore, buddy. You're back in L.A. where we have horse racing at Santa Anita. All right, what's the name of your horse? I don't know. Run Tunic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, tunic. man. That's it. You guys. There you, is. Either one of you ever been to a horse race? I love going down to the I horse race. I have not been to a horse race before. You're, you don't have Hollywood Park anymore. You were like don't. five minutes away from Hollywood I Park. My grandpa and I would always go out there. Don't lie to me. When, how many times you s snuck into Hustler Casino there? Hustler Casino, that's a big zero. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah. Liar. I don't make enough money to throw Here's it away like mother that. Mother listens to All the right, show. All right, back to the NCAA tournament here. Name, rank the top ten players of the uh, NCAA tournament, Coach. I can't name one player. Oh, my gosh. I can't. This year, they're all, and I'm not knocking, but... The uh, the 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 level of play is okay, the um, the competition is okay, but there's no there's no big star, there's no uh, guy that everybody's clamoring to come to come into the NBA. Is is there one for you? And you know basketball. Is there one guy that that all the general managers are clamoring to bring into the NBA? I don't think so. In the final four, in the uh, final four players, I don't know. I I think the, the one kid from Arizona that oh, will wow. probably go top three or four uh, was out the first day. 
Yeah, he's going eight, eight, top. But, eight uh, on? Eight Aiton. Aiton. Now, this was kind of regarded as one of the best draft classes coming up in years. Now, there's only one lottery pick left in the Final Four, Mikhail Bridges out of Villanova. Is that kind of a referendum on this year's draft class, that it might be a little overhyped, a little overrated? Yes. It possibly sure. could be, but look, Bagley... He's he's the real deal, and he's only. Going I don't to get think better. our audience wants to have us discuss any more of this college basketball. I mean, All right. Well, who do you did think you the find, number one time out, player Aaron? Is? Did you find one article in the, in the local paper, the Valley Paper? That is actually a really good, uh, really good sports section. Uh, no, I, I saw a little Isn't blurb that about. I saw a little blurb about uh, Jalen Brunson being AP Player of the Year, but that's it. I mean, uh, how how the day before. Uh, the uh, college finals. There's not one article. I I, I don't get it. Uh, what does that tell you? What it, it tells you that people aren't interested. Well, I think it, it tells you that the newspaper it. business ain't what it once was. <laughs> exactly. We're, we never finished on the Dodgers. Can we? Do, can we? I'm just glad the Dodgers got their uh, pipes fixed. This is a Dodger station. Oh, Seven ten. Catch it right here. You don't really love the Dodgers. I I'm love the Dodgers. In you as a Who's, human being. Who said I didn't love the Dodgers? I'm but glad I, they got their pipes Travis, fixed. I'm not feeling it from you. I'm not, I'm not feeling... <laughs> it's game one. You know, I, I love the Dodgers more as the season goes along. Okay, You're miss, not really a fan. You can miss the first 50 games, and you could still watch over 110 games. I'm going to be ticked off if they, they can't start swinging the bats. I, it's so aggravating that Kershaw dominates for years, and... We don't have anybody who can hit the ball. You're too young to remember Sandy Koufax. Same thing when Sandy Koufax was pitching. They'd get one run. He only needed one run a lot of times or two runs. It would, Sandy would win two to one, one to nothing. Same, I don't know. Something happens when these elite pitchers get on the mound. But the other thing is we have some elite players that have to start hitting in the clutch. Uh, how about a guy named Bellinger? Cody Bellinger's got to start the, he's got. He looked like the hangover yesterday from the World Series, Aaron. He was over swinging. Didn't you think a, he was over swinging? He's gonna have a. I didn't really slump? watch the game. I'm gonna be honest. I was on the road, coach. It's no, a day game. You're on the road. Yeah. He's gonna have a sophomore slump. I hope not. That that was brought up. You last think Puig time. has a chance to win MVP this year? Puig. <laughs> he's gonna have Puig. to. <laughs> <laughs> Puig. <laughs> Uh, look, I've become more and more fascinated with him as a player. I'm not sure I'm a big fan, but I'm glad he's on the Dodgers and glad he's in right field. I know none of you saw the game yesterday, but he his arm is so strong, he kept Guy from scoring from second to home plate yesterday. He was licking on his bat yesterday, too. He does that. Uh, I like it. You're a basketball guy. I'm a baseball football guy. They lick their bats. They yeah. lick the end of the bat. Yeah, <laughs> the first one in history to lick the <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. You see uh, John it's Carlos Stanton. It's a family Two bombs show. yesterday. Two bombs. Yeah. Two bombs. Yankees are going to be tough this year. He nuked that thing oppo, too. What about your angels, Aaron? My angels. Get out of here with that. They lost yesterday. There's another team that's got some pretty good players and no pitching. P- baseball's about pitching like basketball is about. What's basketball about? Scoring baskets. <laughs> You basketball. scoring and keeping the other team no, from scoring. No, ba- basketball is about having a a dominant star. Come on, man. <laughs> no, you don't. Ha- <laughs> what is basketball about? It's about scoring more points than the other team and winning. That's what it's about. About overpaying guys. Hey, is uh, your guy S- Steph? What's his name? Curry. Steph Curry. Uh, is he going to be a factor in the playoffs? He is, but he they should not play him again until. The playoffs start, or maybe a couple games before to get some win back and things like that. But that team is hurt, and this is going to be uh, interesting playoffs. I mean, the West is stacked: one, two, three, four, five, six. The three through six teams are only like two games apart, and um, so it could be huge. I do I'm not. I'm for like, my Pelicans. Yeah. Pelicans could end they up could, number they three. I, I, I told you at lunch, I don't think San Francisco wins at all. I think Golden some, State. Uh, is Golden State. I, there's something there, and I don't know what there is. Too many players are hurt. They, they've been to the mountaintop. It's hard to repeat. I mean, go on and on. And uh, uh, LeBron may not be. So it could be Toronto and the Pelicans. In the, in now, the, here's the thing. You cannot say that the if – um, the Golden State Warriors get My back Pelicans. healthy that they could not win. Okay, If they come back healthy, it wouldn't surprise me if they made a run. This team is a dominant team. 
Now, if they are, I'll bet you a French fry. The way I saw you eat French fries at lunch, it was embarrassing. I'll bet you uh, (laughs) French fry that uh, I don't want. I don't want your French fry. All right, right, so uh, I can see them making a run now. The three, four, five, six. I'm telling you, this first round matchups are going to be. You could see a six beating a three. You could see a a two beating a, a seven beating a two. So, do you think know. Kawhi comes back for the playoffs? Should he? I don't know if that organization he he wants out, right? He just, I don't know if he wants out. He wants out. He doesn't, doesn't want to play, Aaron. Uh, I, mean, I, mean, I, wouldn't hurt, I wouldn't let him come back, and I don't think Pop would let him come back. Yeah, he's not know. hurt anymore. I don't know because the Spurs are usually really good with their players, but they're injured players. They give them time to recover, and the fact that the Spurs doctors are telling him you're good to go, and he still is not feeling it. I don't know. Yeah, it's he's he's not injured anymore. Yeah, but, we got to uh, take a break. Then we're going to come back and talk about the LPGA. Lexi Thompson returns to the desert with a new focus. LPGA. Do you even know what it stands for? Of course, Coach. We'll on. be right back. Hey, man, just let it drop right here. Yeah. Why do people from all over Santa Clarita come to our spa in Canyon Country? Simple. They want the highest quality services at prices that everyone can afford. This is Rosemary from Beyond Harmony Med Spa. Read our reviews and know why we won the Ultimate Beauty Awards two years in a row by the readers of Elite Magazine. Come and see how close we really are and experience the level of excellence that our clients have loved for the past 13 years. Go to beyondharmony.com or call 298-8008 today for a free consultation. Your hometown station. Our news team at KHTS is constantly working to keep you informed. If you want the latest and greatest information on the San Clarita Valley, just sign up for the KHTS newsletter. SCV News delivered directly to your email inbox every weekday by 5 p.m. and a special weekend edition on Sundays. All it takes is an email address and you're set. Go to hometownstation.com to register. 98.1 FM and AM 1220. Hi, this is Jason Perez with New American Funding, Santa Cruz's own homegrown mortgage expert. Visit my website at lendscb.com or give me a call at 661-972-1092. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or trying to go from your condo to a castle, here at New American Funding, my team and I are here to help you do whatever you need. Once again, feel free to give me a call, 661-972-1092, or visit my website at lendscb.com. I'm looking forward to working with you. Do you like to rock across Africa? Then the wait is over. Africa rocks! Africa's Greatest Hits is now available at the San Diego Zoo. And who could forget 99 red baboons? (laughs) Or the African Crested Porcupine smash hit, I Got Quills to Pay the Bills. Hey, don't get too close. And the hits keep on coming. Africa Rocks has all your favorites from six different African habitats. Hungry like a leopard. Ibex is back. Harder, better, fossa stronger. And a new track from Kendrick Lieber. Now, Larry. Yes, Chuck? A collection of this magnitude, I'd fly to Africa. (laughs) Well, don't pack your bags, friend. Africa Rocks is only available right here at the San Diego Zoo. Wow, that really does rock. No, it Africa Rocks. Welcome to Africa Rocks. Experience six different African habitats, including our first ever aquatic enclosure with African penguins. Only at the San Diego Zoo. Taito Boxing Club is here in Santa Clarita. We're fast-paced, action-packed, and addictive. We've got music pumping and energy flowing. Come out to the Taito Boxing Club and embrace your inner power and sweat it out at Santa Clarita's best workout spot for you and your entire family. Join us for your first shot free class at the Taito Boxing Club on Bokeh Canyon and Newhall Ranch Road. Hi, this is Jason Perez with New American Funding, Santa Cruz's own homegrown mortgage expert. Visit my website at lendscb.com or give me a call at 661-972-1092. Whether you're a first-time home buyer or trying to go from your condo to a castle, here at New American Funding, my team and I are here to help you do whatever you need. Once again, feel free to give me a call, 661-972-1092, or visit my website at lendscb.com. I'm looking forward to working with you. Right here. 
Yeah, we got a caller on Travis Talk Sports. So nothing's bugging you, Travis? Yeah, there's going to be something that bugs me, and that's if my Jayhawks lose, I'm going to be ticked. But I uh, think they got a good chance to win. Tomorrow's the big day. Uh, one more thing that bugs me is the Houston Rockets. I just totally dislike James Harden. He's a faker, actor, crybaby. Him and Chris Paul, I hope they do not go to the West. Uh, Western Conference Finals and the Finals. And if they do make it to the Finals, I hope Toronto beats them. Because that's, well, that's who's coming. I like Houston to win the whole thing. I think Houston's going to shock everybody. And uh, I Shock? Think, they got, what would be a shock? They won, They got the best well, record. No, because all the money's on your Golden State no, Warriors. it's not. I bet you it's not. My Pelicans. Uh, we got a caller that says they don't, wanna, they don't want us to talk about L. L PGA, so we're not. So we're going to convert to wrestling, WWE. <laughs> Did, have you ever watched it? Oh, yeah. When I was a kid, I used to go. My dad took me way back in the day when I was living in Kansas City. But I was watching it the other night with one of my grandsons, and they had these beautiful ladies. I mean, Aaron, have you ever watched this? I have not watched wrestling. <laughs> you know, it's all fake. It, it is. I mean, it's but but the athleticism of these athletes. Well, it's a combination. They're they're athletic and they're actors. Hence, you have guys like The Rock and John Cena who have uh, transferred yeah. over to Hollywood and done great. Yeah. Do we? Does the WWE ever come to uh, Staple? Yes. You gotta ask Brody about that. Yeah. I they do. Brody that. says yes. Brody says. I yeah. would like to go. I'd like to go and sit close. It's entertainment, man. They actually were when I was leaving. When I was leaving New Orleans, they had a big banner coming to New Orleans. I think next weekend. Where did the Pelicans play in the Mercedes Center? No, right next door is the Mercedes Center. Is the Smoothie King Arena? Smoothie That's King. That's the name of their. What is it? Seat? Do you know? Uh, about uh, seventeen thousand. Oh wow! And was it sold out the night you went? No, uh, the four games I went, I think the Lakers were sold out, and uh, the. And the Trailblazers are sold out. Isn't that amazing? How would the Lakers? I don't know. <laughs> because they're a worldwide attraction, man. Everybody loves when the Lakers. When Chick Hearn comes back, the Lakers will come back. Oh, my goodness. That's how I feel about More it. More likely upset. Uh, Timberwolves, if Jimmy Butler comes back over the Warriors, Pelicans over the Trailblazers, or Thunder beating the Spurs. Oh, I don't see. I see the Pelicans beating. Um, the Trailblazers, they they beat them already twice this year, two out of three times. So I see that happening, and I see um, um, the Thunder. I don't see that as a big upset beating the Spurs. The Thunder down under. Uh, how about some local sports? Can we talk about local sports? <laughs> no. Yeah. You want to? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's your show, Coach. Not no, my it's show. Not your show. It's not my show. It's coach, Travis' show. Coach, I will, show. Allow you, I will allow you to talk about I'm local sports. I'm just a sports. sidekick, you know. Yeah, right. Uh, West Ranch beat Valencia three to zero, three to zero in baseball. Uh, no, in uh, uh, in uh, uh, volleyball. Oh, volleyball is a big deal, guys. Don't deal. make a face up. Volleyball is a big deal. I like volleyball. Okay, Me let's and my switch wife over. Used to play in a city volleyball league. Let's after. switch over to a sport that Travis and I know. Very little about, but we love the sport. Perfect. Uh, uh, the Cats. Who are the Cats? West Ranch, Gunner Murray finished first. He shot 71 at Big V the other day wow. on, on Wednesday. I was out there. Wow, 71. That's awesome. These guys are about as big as a minute, and they hit the ball. 17, 300. 18 years old. Or younger. younger. And they, they hit 71. The ball. Wow. And they hit the ball 300 yards. I mean – how do they do that, Travis? I know, tremendous um, something. Tremendous club head speed, man. Tremendous swing speed. Uh, the greens were aerated. I played Wednesday too in front of the kids, and the greens were aerated, and so the ball scoots along the 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 top of the of of the sand, and it was fast. I mean, the greens were fast. Yeah, I played in Louisiana last week. <clears throat> At the TPC course there, and boy, the greens were fast there, but it was a great course. You All right, love I will buy you a iced tea if you can give me the name of the new TPC course in Valencia, California. They changed the name. Oh, wow. Last night. Last night they changed it, huh? This is breaking news. TPC. For a free iced tea. TPC SCV. I don't know. <laughs> 
298-5047. If you want to call in, I'll buy you a free iced tea. Uh, the new name is... Oh, you want him to call in and you're about to tell? <laughs> Coach is a cheapskate. He doesn't want to pay for iced tea. That's correct. Uh, there's only a minute left. The Oaks. The Oaks. The TPC o- at the Oaks? It's no more TPC. It's not no. a P- TPC no, course? No more. Wow. No more. So the Oaks The Oaks course. Club. The Oaks Club. Yeah, the Oaks Club. Are you going to join that club? I belong to Big V. I don't need to Are join. Are they going to merge both those clubs? No. They're, uh, they're owned by the same owner. But no, they're not. Come merging. on, he had to allow. They're not club members to go to either one he wanted. They're not. Big V uh, is about. We're about full of members. T uh, not T. I used to just said TBC. Now the Oaks Club needs members. You hmm. should join the Oaks Club. No. Then we could. We could. We got to go. See you next. Vista week. Valencia is my type of course. We got to go. <laughs> Thanks for listening to Travis, Travis Talk Sports. Sports. Who wins the NCAA title? Kansas Jayhawks. Yeah. If you know me, go let us know. I got plans. Like-